In this video, we'll take a look at the type of reaction for HNO3 plus CaOH2. This is nitric acid and this is calcium hydroxide. So when I look at this equation here, if I look at the products, I see I have CaNO3 too, calcium nitrate. That's a salt. So let's write salt up there. And then we have H2O, that's water. So that's the first clue that's making me think this might be a neutralization reaction. If I look at the reactants, I have nitric acid, that's an acid, and then CaOH2, that's a base. I can tell that this is a base because I have a hydroxide, this OH group here, bonded to a metal. Those are bases. And then with the HNO3, if I see an H in front of a compound, I'm thinking that it's an acid. It's helpful if you memorize some of the common acids and bases here. So if we look down here, we can see right here is HNO3, nitric acid. That's a strong acid. And then CaOH2, the calcium hydroxide, that's a base. It's a strong base. So this is real helpful to have in your memory. It makes things a lot quicker. So we have an acid and a base. They neutralize each other to give us a salt and water. Let's take a look at a table of common types of chemical reactions, though, so we can see what's going on. So we know we have a neutralization reaction because we have an H in front of something here. Then we have a metal and a hydroxide group, the metal and the hydroxide, and we get a salt and water. Neutralization. But it's also a double replacement reaction. That's because the calcium and the hydrogen, they switch places. So we end up with calcium and the nitrate together, giving us this calcium nitrate. And then the hydroxide and the hydrogen, that gives us HOH, which is H2O, water. So it's also a double displacement reaction. We probably should balance this, though, so it makes sense. Let's put a 2 here and then a 2 here. So that's balanced. So these are the types of the reactions. So one reaction can be classified as two different types. This is Dr. B with the type of reaction for HNO3 plus CaOH2. Thanks for watching.